A few months back, we talked about some Team Fortress Lost media, specifically a lost build of Team Fortress 2 from 1999. This was an entirely canceled version of Team Fortress called Brotherhood of Arms. It was modern, military-based, and very much of its day. It never saw store shelves, and in fact, was rebooted two more times before we actually ended up with the version that shipped. The video was about how back in, what we assumed, 1999, a wares group, or a piracy group, was able to get into Valve's internal file sharing server. This is a separate hack from what happened with Half-Life 2 leaking in 2003. But Valve had some server security problems, and a piracy group was able to grab a build of this at the time highly anticipated game and leak it out to their community, to the wares groups out on the internet. That was the story. I had a lot of evidence from specifically news groups and Usenet, and also in digging for that build, found a story about a lost Team Fortress classic beta that had accidentally leaked three months before its release called LandParty.exe. I have updates on both Team Fortress 2 Brotherhood of Arms and the beta of Team Fortress Classic. First, LandParty.exe and all of the beta executable files that leaked back in 1999 have been found and are archived. And they actually contain quite a few differences. We'll talk about that another day. Because while I was on my honeymoon of all things, we found a lead on Brotherhood of Arms. As it turns out, we were right about the story. We were wrong about the timeline. This leak did not take place in 1999. It took place in 2002. So digging through the entirety of the Half-Life Usenet news group through the years 98, 99, and 2000, we're never going to turn anything up because it didn't happen then. It happened a little bit later, which is very interesting because if this is actually the case, then the interview with Robin Walker discussing a leak related to Team Fortress 2 means that Team Fortress 2 had leaked multiple times through its development and none of it was ever saved. There's the version of Team Fortress 2 that apparently leaked at some point in 1999 that Robin Walker discussed in an interview. According to this new lead, Team Defiance was the wares group that managed to find and crack and then distribute Team Fortress 2 Brotherhood of Arms somewhere around 2001 to 2003. Quote, sometime around 2003, although the exact date is uncertain, Valve misconfigured their FTP server, resulting in the leakage of Team Fortress 2 Brotherhood of Arms. Subsequently, a scene group named Defiance managed to crack it. The question arises, does anyone possess the Team Fortress 2 Defiance release from 2003. It's an original beta of Team Fortress 2 that appears to be entirely lost. For those interested, here's a pre-DB page detailing this release. We just need to figure out where it is, because apparently there are multiple versions of Team Fortress 2 Brotherhood of Arms floating around the internet. The biggest one being a Defiance cracked release of an FTP leak from around 2001 to 2003 that was distributed out onto the internet. This is a version of Team Fortress 2 that never released. It was canceled entirely and the game started from scratch. So this is history. This is the definition of lost media. Valve was making a very different game in the late 90s and early 2000s. It was far more complicated. It was far more based on military strategy, and then they just, they made the version we got. Unfortunately, we have no confirmation on if these files are still out there. It's lost media. This stuff happened over 20 years ago, and it's entirely possible that even though it did end up leaking off of Valve servers at some point, no one has a copy anymore. Before I start doing a massive amount of digging into Usenet and newsgroups again, I am putting this message out there. If you were a person that was on the Wares group Defiance back in the late 90s and early 2000s, please reach out. My email is tylernewsnetwork at gmail.com. Apparently, you were able to crack and release a version of Team Fortress 2 that never saw the light of day, and that deserves to be preserved. I am going to start digging into the Usenet archives, which can take 
weeks. But if there's any other leads that can point me in a different direction, that is why I am making this video. And hey, the last video I made resulted in the beta build of Team Fortress Classic being found, documented, and archived. That's awesome. That is so cool. I am not very informed on the culture and terminology of wares groups and cracking groups from the late 90s and early 2000s. So I'm probably missing pieces of this story just by sheer ignorance. Again, that's why I'm making this video. If you know anything, if you know anybody that might know anything, please send this video their way. And again, try and get in contact with me if you can. We might be able to actually find something. I'm Tyler McVicker, The Passionate Gamer. Peace and hair grease. Have a great day. Adios.